In the application's current state, if we calculate a route, so I'm just gonna calculate a route here, and then we calculate a second route, uh, the, uh, the, the first one doesn't get reset. So you can still see that marker there and also the, the image marker doesn't get put back on the map. So we need a way to resolve that issue. So uh, the first thing we need to do is actually, I don't know why login activity is open. Uh, the first thing we need to do is actually keep track of the markers. So if we keep track of the markers, then we have a way to reference them and we can uh, essentially figure out which ones are on the map and which ones aren't and remove the ones that, that uh, shouldn't be. Uh, when I say the markers, I mean these red markers right here. So well, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna call these trip markers. So to keep track of them, I'm gonna create a new array list. So private array list and it's gonna be an array list of marker objects, and I'm gonna call it m trip trip markers this equals new array list. Now we're gonna create two new methods. One method is going to be for removing the trip markers, so private void remove trip markers, and inside here we're going to loop through all the markers, so marker, marker, m trip markers, and I wanna call marker.remove and that's gonna remove them from the Google map. The second method that we're gonna build is reset selected marker. So private void reset selected marker. And this method is gonna be responsible for adding that marker back to the map that was made invisible. So uh, when we calculate a trip, so if I calculate a trip to here, uh, this, this marker with the image gets made invisible. So we need to replace that. Uh, so we're gonna do that in here. So once again, we're gonna loop through the markers. Or sorry, no, we're not. We're not gonna we're not gonna loop through the markers. All we need to do is make one one visible. We don't need to loop through anything. So if our selected marker does not equal null, then we know we have one that's been selected. We can go uh, selected marker set visible to true, and then we want to do m selected marker equals null because we're resetting it, and then remove the trip markers. Now, where are we gonna call this? We are actually gonna to wanna to call it in the on info window click method. So I'm gonna scroll down to it, on info window click. And I wanna call it just before the, the marker is set again. So right here, we're setting the selected marker. So just before that, we wanna call reset selected marker. And that's gonna kind of reset everything before the new one is, is selected. And of course, we still need to actually add the markers to our trip markers list. So that's the list that we made up here. And we're gonna do that in on polyline click. So on polyline click, go down to that. So right here is a good spot. We can just do m trip markers dot add, and we want to add our new marker right there. And that that should take care of all the issues. So let's run it and take a look. Okay, I'm going to click on the chat room, go to the fragment, uh, zoom in just a little bit here. Uh, I'll click on one of these, calculate a route. So that's good. Now I'm going to calculate. An, oops calculate a second root and there you go you can see that that one is replaced uh, and added back onto it so the marker the trip marker is removed and also the icon marker is added back to the map so everything is working as we expect the last thing we want to do is animate the camera when the root is calculated so if I if I if I get this root what we want to do is have the camera zoom in on this root after right after it's determined and calculated so that's what we're going to work on in the next video